Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Nintendo Wii. And this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, this was the final game chosen in the 2015 Christmas special, although it is not the final game of that list that I'm finally doing. But a lot of people have been wanting me to do this game, even though some rather me do Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze instead. But after I pulled Twitter for like a few days, this was the game that was unanimously chosen. Well, by that I mean 65 to 35%. Alright, so I'm going to put it button side down. Fun fact, I used to put it flat the other way, which surprisingly still worked. Two people specifically who are close friends of mine, they who shall not be named, have been teasing me, thinking, oh, you're not going to finish Skyward Sword yet, yeah, we can't talk about Hyrule Historia in front of you now, because it'll be spoilers. But anyways, you don't have to wait anymore. Let's get started, shall we? Yes, of course, I still have not finished Skyward Sword, but I was pretty close at some point, and I just never had time to pick it up again. Well, I'm going to finish it now, I promise you that. I wonder if this is the same forest where uh, Link ran into the Skull Kid in Majora's Mask. Probably not. Oh yeah, that guy looks mighty hungry now. Probably one of them new Pokemon. I wonder if that's Poplio's final evolved form. <laughs> that's what you get for not liking me! Oh, when this game was released, it was the 25th anniversary. And now we're pretty much on the 30th anniversary and still no new game. I'm Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs! Oh, wait, wrong bird. <laughs> Alright, so these majestic wing creatures are called Loft Wings. And they are very iconic in this game. Oh, that's actually a little loud, by the way. Let me turn that down. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's good enough. I don't want to turn it down too much. But yeah, this is Skyloft over here. Like, it's a land r right in the sky. Your music sucks! <laughs> I'm gonna eat your letter. Here, read the spit. <laughs> that, of course, is Princess Zelda. She actually looks very... young in this game compared to what she was like in Twilight Princess. Oh my god, my eyes are so big! Still that evolved Pokemon or something we don't eat. Rise, Link! The time has come for you to awaken! You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken! Link! Oh, I guess I'm supposed to get up or something? Uh, did this game start with Link asleep again? It's like every game Link is asleep at the start of a game. What, are you stuck in the window or something? What the hell you want? Oh, wow, rude. And I hear you let her go screw yourself. You owe me 50,000 rupees. Hey, sleepyhead. I know how much you like to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine, Link. Today's the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <sighs> oh, I'm so groggy. Right. Huh. I'm gonna go back to bed. Can I go back to bed? Oh, you can't interact with the bed here. That would have been so cool. 
Oh, I'll just sit for like the entirety of the game. Why not? <laughs> okay, so you just hold A to dash, and you see that little circle meter? Circle over there? That's your stamina. If you go too fast, or go too long without stopping, your stamina is going to deplete, and you're going to be tired. You have to wait for the meter to go up again before you can actually start moving at a normal speed. Press 1 to go to your gear, which we don't have anything except for a small wallet, which only carries up to 300 rubies. The rest of the stuff we'll be dealing with later, so we'll just use left on the uh, D-pad to actually go to our inventory. As you can see, there's a lot of bugs. There's a lot of rare stuff over here that we'll deal with later as well, and even more rare stuff over here. Stuff that we'll also be dealing with for the time being. But for now, we'll just have to deal with as is. Press start to go to your map, which we're in the Night Academy, and you can switch floors going this way. Oh, apparently you can just use the, uh, the analog stick on the nunchuck as well. Which, unfortunately, you have to use. You cannot just use the Wii Remote as is, or the, uh, classic controller. You have to use a Wii Remote and the nunchuck. Let's go talk to some people. Yeah. Morning, Link! So, today's the wing ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is out practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that crimson loft wing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident riding him, too. My bird won the last ceremony, but even I don't think it could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pippet. Oh, okay. Why do you look like me only in yellow? <sighs> Wing ceremony. Last time I've been to one of those, I had to, like, uh, clean off my face, you know, with hot wings, you know what I mean? That's my kind of wing ceremony. Hey, Link. The day of the wing ceremony is finally upon us. It's time to put what you've learned to use. All those practical skills I taught you. And all the academic prowess Instructor Horwell taught you. While we're at it, do you remember how to look around using C? First thing you know, I look at blah 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 tutorials. Uh, screw you. I'll deal with that in my own time. So yeah, sometimes you might get a little calibrated improperly, like it won't center right. Just press down on the D-pad, and you'll center yourself again. Huh, gross. Oh, he is gonna be a popular character later on. But for now, why don't we just, like, continue on? Like, I see no sense in just sting around to talk to everybody. You're just gonna get flavor text. I think it's time for us to, uh, get started with the wing ceremony. We'll be running to some people along the way, I promise you that. I was thinking that I sit on anything, and I realized, oh, that's just the back pocket of my pajamas. Oh yeah, this is a mighty place. Yeah, I already told them that the place is called Skyloft. I just mentioned that, like, a few minutes ago. Can't listen, game. God. I thought you were supposed to have, like, some awesome graphics. I can't go out, apparently. Hmm. Hey! Hey, Link! Up here! Yo. Good morning to you, Link. Today's finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There's something I'd like to ask you about. Look this way while hold, pressing and holding Z and pressing A, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Like that. There you go. Ooh. Excellent. Always remember, you can press Z to target something. Once you have targeted someone with Z, you can easily talk to him or her by pressing A. And even when there isn't anything to target, pressing Z is a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from this distance. Why don't you come join me up here? Oh, I guess I'll have to use that. You should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Move while holding A to dash, blah blah blah, and you should be able to make that jump. Okay, so you can only climb up ledges while you're dashing. That over there is your save statue. Where you can go to, like, cancel, save and quit, or just save. You can press B to go back, by the way. So in other words, you cannot just save anytime you want. You had to go to those statues to do that now. So what do you think? Using A to dash is useful, isn't it? Power on blah blah blah, yes, stamina gauge will empty. Uh, I mentioned that. On to the next point. Okay, jumping while dashing. So make sure you're dashing to a ledge and you will auto-jump. There you go, I did it. 
maybe I should face the guy. So, what are you up to? Rushing to get some last minute bird riding practice in this morning, Link? Oh? You have someone to meet? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, is she? Perfect timing, then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Ga Gapora, has a pet named Mia, and, well, she scampered off again. <sighs> Don't tell me I have to go get her. Look! Over there! Do you see her? The Headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony, I thought that maybe I should feed her. But the ceremony is about to start, and I just put on a fresh set of clothes and, well, you see... Will you help me out and go retrieve Mia for me? Uh, can I say I'm busy? Ah, I see. Can you please tell the Headmaster that Instructor Horrell has found Mia and that she shouldn't worry? Uh, I guess I probably won't be able to do much otherwise. Okay, you can shake the uh, Wii Remote sideways to, like, leap forward, but it does use up more stamina. And press A to let go. And we'll just climb up these vines over here, and that's how you get to the cat. Well, we almost got to the cat. There's still, like, one thing we gotta do. Can't reach that, apparently. Oh, okay, I guess I gotta use that. I can figure this stuff out myself, okay? Grab and move one with A and use it as a platform, I know. I know how to do this. Like, when you're not dashing, you have the opportunity to move stuff. Okay, well, we'll try that then. I did it. I got the cat. There you go. Oh my god, your ears are so big! Look at this cat! It's huge! Well, the ears are... Oh, there you are. Nice work! You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this, with this leh. I know you're busy, Link. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. Oh my god, that's a lot of stairs I gotta climb. But I got to do it. I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh my god, those ears are so huge, they're like wings! Okay, so if you want to, like, run faster, grab this stamina fruit. And it brings your stamina back to full. Alright, we should be fixed now, hopefully. I apologize for that, it just went completely bonkers as soon as I picked up that stamina fruit. And he was wondering, like, uh, I never got any sleep. Because he figured I might have been tossing and turning all night thinking about the big ceremony today. What am I doing? Oh, just fixing this gate here. It's been squeaky lately, and we can't have that on the day of the ceremony. Hey, you haven't already forgotten to send your prayers to the goddess this morning, have you? Just face the birds out. Okay, that's how you save your game. Yeah, they're all over Skyloft, so take advantage of it if you need it. And I don't. I'm gonna go now. Oh, there's such a big gap in these stairs. You're just gonna trip up and break your legs. Oh, there you are, Zelda. Yeah, that's one big-ass statue there with tiny-ass wings. Alright, Zelda, I'm here. I got your letter. You woke me up. Luckily, it didn't slobber all over me. <laughs> oh, you... guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite... Earth and sky... I can't sing for shit. Bring light to the land. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey! Good morning, Link! I'm glad to see my Laughwing got you out of bed. I was pretty sure you'd sleep in and forget to meet me this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument! And look at this outfit! Your mind to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous too. I asked father about it, and she's and he says it's called a harp. <laughs> and look at these clothes. I made this wrap myself. 
and we get to use it in today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me, like this, Link. So, how do I look? Uh, you look great. Huh, <laughs> I think so too. But it's nice to know you agree. Thanks, Link. Ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Oh, uh, Link, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. Uh, you don't have much room for sleep either. Look at your eyes. Do you have any eyelids anymore or something? No doubt today's ceremony had you too excited to close your eyes for once. Okay, he does have eyelids. I was just a bit worried that he just never blinks. If you win today's ceremonial race, you'll get to participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if he can do it. Recently, Link hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. And even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around. Probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's gonna have to be in perfect control of his bird to win the day. No need to worry yourself, Zelda. Though you may have a point. Today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as his bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. Hmm. And as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Link and his Lofwing share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. That's because I let him be lazy. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our Lofwings, the guardian birds that the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our Lofwing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I'm sure you recall. Ah, uh, but that first meeting between Link and his Lofwing was extraordinary. The bird that came to him was a crimson Lofwing. It is a breed so rare we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Link and that Lofwing of his first met? What a sight. The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away, without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I'd say the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. I don't think you can smell your Lofwing anywhere, Link. In fact, it's not there. Uh, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the powerful bond shared by Link and his bird. Anyone who is a part of something special is bound to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. Oh, I just realized I was reading the wrong line from the wrong person. This ceremony is part of the final test for those trading to become Knights of Skyloft. If Link doesn't fly fast enough during the race... What if Link messes up his big chance? What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It will be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you become a completely different person when you worry about Link. Listen, Link, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Come on, you'll thank me later. What are you doing being a meddlesome woman there, Zelda? I complimented your costume! Go on now, jump off the edge and call your Lofwing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh yeah? You can't sense your bird out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try, but you're not fooling me. 
Off you go! Oh, you're trying to kill me or something? Okay, Link, go ahead. Just press down and call your laugh wing. Nothing. Nothing's happening. I'm dead now. Thanks, Zelda. Hmm. Hmm? These birds sure is taking a long time to get here. Something's wrong! Yeah, you practically killed me, Zelda. Good job. Oh, okay. Now you're gonna use your lot wing to be the hero. Now do you believe me? Hang in there, Link. I've got you. Oh, good. I'm not dead. Thanks. Are you two all right? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Link. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't scent your bird nearby, eh, Link? This is quite a problem. Especially considering the wing ceremony is about to start. Link, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should have. You almost killed me. I, t I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can find where your bird is gone. What's going on now? I gotta go to class or something? Oh, Hi. Hmm. How did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year instructor Horwell is presiding over the ceremony. Link, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he's willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. Uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> but father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Link asks instructor Horwell, He'll probably just come to talk to you about it. Oh, quite true. As usual, you make an interest you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well. I'll explain the situation to him myself. Link, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Okay, I guess I'll just be the middleman. Well Zelda be the metal woman. Yeah. It's your fault, Zelda. That you did all this. Okay, I've returned yet again, and I think I figured out what was the problem. I think Norton was just acting up and doing a scan, even though I said I was going to put it on silent mode. I guess I just forgot to do so. Oh, well. Alright, so we got to go back to the, uh, you know, the Night Academy. Which, thankfully, is just over here. If it's the daytime, is it still a Night Academy? Makes you wonder. Hey, what's up? Don't men open doors for a lady anymore? How long am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh! Oh, it's you, Link. Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? What? You can't find your loft wing? Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at school the whole time. Maybe doesn't want to ask about birds. I saw him downstairs a minute ago. Why don't you look from there? Okay. I'm gonna try to open the other door because she's being a little cranky. So there, open your own door. <laughs> you earn chivalry, you don't ask for it. <laughs> Ugh. All right, where is Pippa too? That, that's not him, but maybe he knows. Hey, what's wrong, Link? You, you don't know where your bird is? What are you talking about, Link? You called it, but it didn't even come to you? So that means... Oh, I knew it. Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. Really, I was, uh, talking to myself. You know, like I do. You're weird. I'm gonna go find Pippet. <gasps> Link! Hey, um, I should probably tell you. Ah, forget it. Never mind. Sorry. No, tell me. <sighs> That's pretty serious, Link. Hope you find your bird soon. What are you trying to keep from me, dog? I'm gonna leave and talk to Pippet. Luckily, he's still in the same spot. 
You're not still wandering around the academy, are you? What? Your Loftwing won't come when you call for it? Why would a guardian bird not come when it's called? You know, I've never heard of this ever happening before, so I can't even tell you what you're doing wrong. But a good senior never hangs an underclassman out to dry. We'll figure this out together. You go to the plaza and ask people there if they know anything. In the meantime, I'll ask around here. Okay, well, maybe I can talk to uh, Instructor Horrible. I think that's him right here. What's wrong, Link? Your bird won't come to you when you call it? For a Loftwing to ignore its master's call, something must be very wrong. Have you talked to Instructor Hor- Oh, you're not Instructor Horrible? He's leading today's ceremony and should be made aware of what's going on. I see. Well, if the Headmaster is aware of the situation, then I'm sure he'll delay the ceremony for you. You're just worried about finding that bird of yours. Uh, let me talk to you again. Okay, well, I guess you guys will take care of it. For some reason, I thought he was horrible. I'm like, no, apparently not. <laughs> oh, well. I'll take care of this. Wow, Link, you get out of breath so easily. How the hell do you keep descending from, like, a line of heroes? Well, then again, this is supposed to be, like, the first Link. Okay, so, let's go to the plaza. <gasps> Surely a lot of people around here would know. Oh, lots of butterflies. How nice. What the hell are you doing? You know what? Give yourself free damage. I don't care. Hold up, Link! Hey, hey, Link! Could you help me with something? All you have to do is use A to dash and roll to the tree. Okay, shake the nunchuck while you're in front of the tree? Oh, wow. How the hell did your head get in that shape? Wow! You did it! A sky stag beetle! Wait up! Yeah, you're on your own. You can get it. You didn't get it, did ya? Yeah, you're useless. Huh? My sky stag beetle! So close! Oh well, to catch it, I would need a bug net anyway. I wish I had thrown out the one I bought at Beetle's Air Shop. Aww. Oh no, where's it too? Maybe I could use it. I'd be better at it than you. Alright, let's keep looking around for more people. Wait a minute, there's someone here. Hi. Hey, Link. How's it going? The wing ceremony is about to begin, right? Remember when Pivot won the last one right at the last second? It was so close. Now that was a race. Yay. The Crimson Loftwing would be in the race, right? I'm looking forward to see what he can do. Yeah, me too if he was actually here. Oh dear, there's a nice crowd over there. You know, Groose, that sure was a pain. What with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> Course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him. And I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. <clears throat> you got some explaining to do, buddy. Whoa! Link! So, uh, yeah. Just how long you been standing there? Long enough. <laughs> What's your problem, anyway? Oh, wait. I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Groose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your heart. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Bring it on. <laughs> sure. Only thing is, I don't know how you're gonna do that with no bird. You're gonna grow wings? You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids? Big deal. Doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, 
grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honor academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh. oh, Zelda. Hey, nah, it's a... Okay, well, it's Zelda technically not a princess in this game. Ooh, wagging her finger now. Don't even try, Groose. You're picking on Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on pulling him around so much? Yeah, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? Oh dear. I suppose you <laughs> er. <laughs> Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood, to find that bird, or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor! <laughs> nice hair, though. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to su suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. No, you don't say. Link, those guys aren't gonna help us find your bird, so we'd better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft to see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he'd talk to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony. So don't worry, we'll find your bird in no time. Okay, you go do that. Why is your nose such an odd shape? I don't get it. Alright, well, we'll get a little bit of help, I suppose. Not a lot, but I guess I'm on, on my own. So with that, I'm gonna go save. Which is so convenient, because you only just gotta do that. Alright, so in the next episode, we're gonna go find that Loftwing of ours. See everybody. Thank you so much for watching.